Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number three, looking at piano arithmetic. So today we're going to be looking at the basics of piano arithmetic. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the five postulates of piano arithmetic and the three central concepts. So now that we have a good foundation of set theory to build on, the time has come to build the foundations of mathematics out of set theory to show that math can be built just out of logic. Piano arithmetic is the bridge that we need to do that. Giuseppe Piano is credited with codifying a set of postulates or axioms that, if assumed, can build the natural numbers and eventually the entire system of mathematics. These postulates contain three basic concepts, the number zero, the function of successorship, and the property of being a natural number. Sometimes these concepts are taken as basic. The axioms are assumed without argument, and a system of mathematics is built up from those postulates without trying to kind of build down into a more basic logical or set theory structure. Check out our old video on piano arithmetic for more on what that process looks like. In this series, we're instead going to show how these postulates can be proven from the ground up instead of assumed by using set theory and how the three basic concepts can be defined in terms of set theory. So, what are we talking about? Well, how many piano postulates are there? It depends on how substantial your underlying logical framework is. Most commonly, they are framed as five specific postulates about natural numbers, zero, and successorship. Sometimes they do include definitions of the concept of identity, as it applies to natural numbers as well, namely that it, the identity is an equivalence relationship, it's reflexive, transitive, and symmetric, um, and that if something is identical to a natural number, that thing is a natural number. We don't need those because we already have those in our basic logical framework. Check out our video on properties of relations for more on what we mean by equivalence, reflexive, transitive, and symmetric relations. Because we have these concepts included in our logical framework, we don't need them. We just need the five specific piano postulates that are about zero successorship and natural numbers, not about kind of these general logical concepts about things like identity. So all to say, in some texts you may see more than five, but five is kind of the standard piano postulates you'll look at. And they may be in different orders, but here's the order we're going to work with. So this leaves us with five piano postulates that are all that's needed to build out all of mathematics. We're going to dig into each of these in greater depth in upcoming videos, but here's a preview. First, we have Postulate 1, 0 is a natural number. Postulate 2, the successor of any natural number is also a natural number. Postulate 3, 0 is not the successor of any natural number. Postulate 4, no two natural numbers have the same successor. And Postulate 5, also known as the principle of mathematical induction. If it is true that some property applying to a natural number means that it applies to its successor, and that property applies to zero, then it applies to all natural numbers. Don't worry if those were confusing or uh, you don't quite understand what we're meaning by zero or successorship or natural number. We are going to be digging into all of this in a lot more detail throughout this month. This gives us the three concepts that we need to define in terms of set theory. Zero, successorship, i.e. the number after, and a natural number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Once we add definitions of these three concepts and one more axiom that we're going to need, the axiom of infinity, into our set theory, we are going to be able to prove these postulates and build out all the natural numbers. We're going to define each of these three concepts in terms of set theory, then show that the five postulates may be proven using set theory, using all the axioms we have so far, plus one extra. So, stay tuned. Up next, we're going to be looking at the first piano postulate, zero is a number. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.